This is an example of how we would use the R4 system to progress through a spacing family concept. We would first tell the quarterback to pick the best rhythm route, fade or spot, based on the pre-snap cap. Next, he would progress to the re-dig, rush flat, then release. Let's take a look at the play. As the quarterback hits the last step of his drop, we see that the spot is capped. Next, he progresses to the re-dig, sees uncapped space, and then throws an incompletion. Let's take a closer look at some advantages that R4 reveals. The first thing that we see is that the quarterback catches the snap and takes a punch step at the same time. Then he takes a three-step drop. This is a four-move drop sequence on a five-step drop concept. This footwork error places the quarterback off rhythm as he hits the last step of his drop in 1.6 seconds. The key here is to first catch the snap, then punch step, then take a three-step drop. This gives us a five-move drop sequence for a five-step drop concept. This correction places us in sync with a rhythm route break at 1.8 seconds. In the absence of proper footwork, the quarterback arrives early at 1.8 seconds to a read dig route. Read routes break at 2.2 seconds. You can now see the advantage if the quarterback was in rhythm. The rhythm spot and the rhythm fade route are just now breaking to uncapped space, but the quarterback's feet have taken his eyes off of them too early. As a result, the dig is thrown with erratic feet to space that the receiver doesn't run into. The point here is to show that potential rhythm route opportunity was missed by being out of sequence on the drop. It also reveals how we could further help the read route timing and processing on the play. It's not about calling a better play. It's about using a better process.